Yeah, I got in. So let's let's just hang up and go there. Um, okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Greg Coast, and that's Kim Blackwell. Uh, her picture there. Uh, we are in the count. We're we're on the counseling team here for the college. Um, we thank you for joining us today. Um, we hope everybody is safe and healthy during this very, um, well, difficult to say the least time. So um, we're gonna do um, a brief, or we're talking brief, 15 minute overview um, uh, about, uh, about what we do here in counseling to help you as the student, and then um, also um, college readiness. Um, so I'm going to, Share my screen here. Bear with me. Okay, on our college website, um, or a lot of important information. Um, counseling is listed under student services. If you click that link and then come down to counseling, this gives an overview of what we do here. So um, we provide assistance to the students with academic planning, um, not only to lead towards graduation, if that's your goal, but also for transfer. We also assist students with uh, career advice. Um, and, and career choices, because um, that's obviously why most people attend college. Um, some important things that we wanna first just point out, um, if some of you don't already have this, is, is, is how to get priority registration. And why is that important? Um, before, in, before open enrollment begins at each semester, um, we, have, um, we have a two week period in which students can register before students that don't have uh, these four priority uh, things completed. And so one of them is completing the online orientation. So if you were to click this, it would show you how to go through that. The other one would be um, to meet with a college counselor. Um, obviously we're doing this remotely now, um, but uh, when this is all said and done, um, what's going on in our environment, then we can do this obviously face to face right. like we used to do as well. Yes. Um, your screen is no longer being shared. Hmm. What do you with see? everybody. I see just all the participants. That's what I was afraid of. It's always hard going first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you able to take control, Kim? Let me see what I got. Okay, you're live. Okay. So on this page, there are there, there, where was I at? I was on the orientation. So that's the first thing. I'm not going to click it because it's going to go to a different screen. Um, also, then you're going to want to meet with a counselor. Um, and then right below that here is where all of our phone numbers are for each of the campuses. By the way, there are seven different uh, locations with Saracosa College. We're spread out over three counties. Um, my colleague and I are from the most northern ones up in Bishop and Mammoth. And then we have the main campus in Ridgecrest. And then we also have Kern River Valley, uh, Lake is, um, Kern River Valley, East Kern, Tatchpee, and then of course our virtual campus, which is online. Um, with the counselor, what you're gonna be developing is with us, is you're gonna tell us what your educational goal is. Um, and we're gonna put you on an education plan based on what you, based on our conversation that we have with you, okay? Um, I'm going to try this, see if it works. If you're interested to know where the schedule of classes are, Kim, can you see that? I can. Okay. Um, you would just click on programs and classes and then scroll down a little bit. And right now we are in open registration for fall and 
our, for summer and fall semesters. Um, by the way, our, our spring um, registration period is um, in November um, and schedules usually are posted on this site uh, sometime around the 1st of November, around the 1st of November, okay? Um, so depending on where you live, I'm just gonna click on one of these links here, but we have them by location. It'll bring up all the classes that are in alphabetical order. So for example, if you're interested in this particular course, you would just click on the CRN number there. And it'll give you the course description for each course, okay? Um, let me move this. Can I go back up into the corner, the right hand side corner and click exit out of that? Yep. Why did I do that? Go back down to share. Actually, you know, I'm just going to talk. Or let's just talk now. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, all right, let, let's just move on to Kim, the other part now, if you want to start that. Okay. So like you said, basically um, what we can help you with um, in counseling is the, you know, the, those new student steps, um, helping you um, do your placement, you know, for English and math. Um, we use your transcripts. Um, we also can send you um, self-guided placement links um, if you want to, you know, if you've been out of school for a significant amount of time um, or uh, you just, you know, kind of want to see how you feel about English and math and you pick the counselor um, or an advisor that is in your service area and, um, you know, and that's those um, counseling links for IWV, Bishop Mammoth, stuff like that. You can, you know, start a conversation with one of us in one of those areas, and then we can send you that link if you want to do a self-guided placement um, as opposed to using your high school or college transcripts. So um, the other thing you need to do is an online orientation with Saracoso. Um, that, um, you know, can be done completely online. You get credit for it once you complete it. There's like a little quiz at each section during that. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it gives you an overview of the services and things that we provide, um, you know, for um, our students um, for financial aid, stuff like that. Um, the third step is to meet with counseling um, to talk about your schedule um, and talk about, you know, not only that first set of classes, but also the second set. So you kind of know where you're headed. And then when you start classes, you can do a comprehensive ed plan, um, education plan, which will map out every single class um, semester by semester, um, which is helpful because it goes into um, another thing that's very important for students is, you know, you do want to have an academic goal. Um, because then you know why you're taking the classes that, that you're in, because a lot of times you're like, well, I want to be a, you know, a psychologist, and why do I have to take English and math, that sort of thing. So, you know, it's always good to have um, basically an idea of where you're headed and what you, why you're here. Um, doesn't mean that you have to have that goal today, um, it, um, but it's good to start exploring that as early as possible and, and we can help you with that in our counseling department. We can um, definitely help you with your, like a lot of times, you know, goals um, require that you transfer um, and, and you leave Saracosa and you go on to um, complete your bachelor's degree, um, so, which is a four-year school. Um, and we can help you um, through that process. So you start exploring schools. Um, you need, if you need help knowing, you know, kind of how to get there, um, we can help with that for sure. And um, one of the best things you can do is a brand new student because there's so many things um, that you, you know, kind of have to um, manage and learn um, is to take our College 102 class, um, which is Tools for College Success. Um, it's offered every single semester online and on um, online for sure and um, you know several times throughout the year on campus um, at the various campuses so that's a good way to start um, the other things that you want to kind of look at is um, taking stock of what you have going on um, both at you know 
work and school and home and, you know, what obligations do you have? Um, do you, you know, do you have family obligations? Do you play bowl, you know, do you bowl on Tuesday nights? You know, those kind of things. Um, it's just really um, important to kind of know what you have going on in your life uh, before you take on school, um, which is going to determine whether you want to be a part-time student or a full-time student. Uh, full-time is um, basically anything 12 units and over, um, which is about four, typically four to five classes. Um, Part-time is anything less than that. So if you're working full-time, uh, we would typically recommend that you um, probably only do one or two classes a semester uh, because for every unit that you have, you have two to three hours um, of homework per week. So, you know, to do your reading and assignments and, and all that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure that you're, um, you know, allowing enough time um, for you to, to do your homework and stuff um, and to get it done on time. Um, so yeah, and, and, and the, that's a good point. And also, um, just to piggy on that is, um, I always get the, the question from students when they say, well, it's going to take me a lot longer than to, to finish my, you know, whatever their goal is. And my answer to that is, yeah, but if you do one or two classes and you're successful, then, you, then you've made progress and you're going to reach that, that eventual goal. Whereas if you've taken four or five, six classes and you're working 40 plus hours a week, plus maybe taking care of a family and all that, and then you end up dropping or not passing your classes, um, then you didn't make any progress whatsoever. So um, everybody has to figure out for themselves what is the best avenue of, of, of coursework for them to take, realistically for them to take um, each semester. Um, because there might be some semesters where they're more busier, maybe their jobs or whatever, or seasonal, that type of thing, whereas they're able to take on more classes. But it, each individual has to figure out for themselves what um, is going to be realistic for them um, to be successful. Because, I mean, that, that, that's the whole point is um, everybody starts the semester with an A in the course um, because there hasn't been obviously anything to do. But, you know, as you go through the term uh, and things start piling up and you've got, let's just say, more classes than you should have taken, um, then it's very difficult to get through them. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you just want to make sure that you have a nice, healthy balance, you know, between homework and school. Uh, so, uh, you don't overwhelm and stress yourself out. Um, so uh, we can help um, help you with that in our counseling department. You know, we'll do an individual, um, you know, meetings and appointments with you. Um, and we can do various appointments. They can be telephone. They can be, um, you know, Zoom. Um, will probably do a much better job one-on-one -on -one with Zoom. <laughs> so sorry for the bumpy start today. But um, <laughs> uh, sometimes you know, it's best just talk. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's better just to talk. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, we can do phone appointments, we can do email, we can do Zoom. Um, and, um, you know, once we get back, hopefully get back on campus, um, in, in August, um, you know, for the fall semester. Um, we hope to see you guys, you know, face to face, um, you know, for those of you that are on, on campus. Um, so, you know, you can always call our counseling departments um, or our campuses and, and schedule an appointment to talk to us. Um, one of the things that, you know, both um, Greg and I, we, we didn't attend California schools. We, we were both out of staters and, um, we were talking about the fact that that counseling means um, something very different on you know from where we're from um, that it was mental health uh, where in California it's it's advising um, uh, so that's what we're here for uh, we can certainly do mental health referrals um, you know if if that's something that you ever find a need for um, but um, what, at the end of the day, what we typically do with you is um, academic counseling, which is um, educational plans, career counseling, um, and helping you um, semester to, you know, to semester with your goal. Um, so you know, touch base with us several times a year. Um, don't ever feel like you are um, bugging us because um, I get that a lot. You know, it's like, oh, I don't want to bother you. It's like, please bother me because that's, that's exactly um, why I'm here. 
So, um, you know, reach out when you're, you have questions or you start to struggle because um, we can get you linked up to um, the resources that are available to you. Um, so um, I, that's what I've got. Greg, you got anything to add? 